though. So if it looks like the screen is uh, like frozen, it's not recording. Okay. Now I have to restart it. I'll, I'll try. I need somebody to help me label the x and y axis. So what axis is this? Y. Y. What axis is this? X. So this is the x. Y is vertical and x is horizontal, right? And remember those terms? Okay, so yes. today we're going to build off of, for everybody can see it, we're going to build off of what you guys have been doing in class lately. And I know what you did yesterday on your sheet where you guys plotted points on <laughs> coordinate grids. Do everybody remember that? Everybody give me a thumbs up if you remember that. Right, we got that? Okay. So today, we're going to continue to plot points, but this time we're going to label the points on this grid. So we're going to learn how to give values to these, which I'm sure we already did. We're going to give half values. You guys did quarter or third values yesterday, from what I see on your work. And then from there, you guys are going to do a guided practice where you guys are going to work in a team. You guys are going to come up with points and make a shape from that. And then we're going to play a game. How many of you played Battleship before? Does everybody play Battleship? Does anybody know what it is but has never played it? Kind of? Kind of? Okay, and then we're going to finish with our own version of Coordinate Grid Battleship. So to start out, um, our whole thing today is naming points using coordinate grids. So naming different points on here. We're going to learn to name this point and label it. And then we're going to give learn to plot points using just the, just the little the coordinates, okay? So... Remember how to erase. There we go. So, first we started out by labeling our, our axes. Next, I need to give values to my y and my x axis. They need to be the same. Last two Tuesdays ago, I worked on number lines, and we did even for the tick marks, even values for the tick marks. The same thing applies for our coordinate grids. We need to give even values for every single thing we do. So, I'm going to go by whole numbers today. Can you guys tell me what this value would be right here next to the x? Zero. Zero. So you start at zero. I gotta get low. I'm, sh I'm too tall. What would this? What would this value be? Right here. One. One. I want you guys to keep counting them off for me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, I gotta catch up. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. I'll stop there. I'll stop at twelve. And then. Oh, on my x-axis, what's this value? One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven. That's a lot of writing for me right there. Holy smoke. So I want you guys to now label your axes on your papers, one through twelve. When you're done, give me a thumbs up. Both sides. X and Y axis. Line. You can go every other line if you have to, to where it's a little more even. You're not all cramped up. If you're done, give me a thumbs up. Continue to hold them up for me, that would be wonderful. Point, and then we're going to give it a name. 
So I'm going to get going here. So if I move up randomly in the in the coordinate grid, I want to plot a point at 2 and 3. 2, 3. That's my point is 2, 3. Where do I put my point for, where do I go first on this grid? Who can tell me? Where do I go first? So I go to the x-axis and I go to which number? 2. and then I go where? 3. What direction? Up. Up. Up to 3. Plot it. And what do we want to label this point? Does anybody name it anything? Just give it a letter name. I hear A. We're going to name it A. A. Who wants to give me a point to plot? Can you give me a point to plot? Eight. And then I want you to label it with a letter. We have B. Make this a capital, because our A is capital. I'm going to continue that. That's terrible the top of the B right there, but that's okay. Sometimes you got to work through it. So we, our point is 8, 6. So we start out when we plot a coordinate point. What axis does the first number represent? Who can tell me? The x-axis. So this is x. What about the second number? Who can tell me that? The y-axis. Get new seats. Yeah. I wonder, because we're used to you being back there. Okay. So the x and y. So we need to remember that. So our first step is, when we see a coordinate grid, the coordinate point, we see the first number, we follow on the x-axis, see the second number, and we go up to the y-axis. We've covered that. You guys have done that, I'm sure. So now... I'm going to plot random points. I want you guys on your sheets to plot them and then label them. And then you'll come up and then I'll have a, three different volunteers label them for me. So I'm going to plot a point here. And then give it a name. Give it a name. So I want you guys to find the points, find the values for all three of these points on your own sheets. Why don't you plop them on your sh on your sheets, then give them a value, and then I'll get three volunteers to come help. So, who can come up here and give me the value for A? You can pick a partner to give you the value for B. up you agree okay what about the work for B is it 11 4 yeah. thumbs up you agree what about C okay. is that 3 1 yeah yes it is good job guys who wants to give me one random point of their own that the class has to pick the value for you a random point of your own
once. They used to do this to me. I had I would had an online class and I give speeches online on free it will on freeze and they just continue it from there. Okay. And I can just give it in pieces. It's gonna okay. that's no problem. Okay. Okay. So a random point 